Good evening and welcome to another episode of Home Cuisine. We're going to be making one of my all-time favorites. It's called Alu Methi. Alu potatoes and Methi is fenugreek but in this case we're going to be using fenugreek leaves. Beautiful. So in a very hot pan as usual I'm going to be putting in some avocado oil and then we'll put in some cumin seeds. I love them to splatter. While they are splattering, introduce the red onions. This is a wonderful side dish. And as the onions begin sweating, we are going to be adding a teaspoon of minced ginger and a teaspoon of minced garlic. I always call this the holy trinity of cooking because a lot of recipes come alive very, very easily with just the onion, the ginger and the garlic. So we don't have to allow this to brown up way too much. It's time to introduce the potatoes. Smells so good here, like super, super good. I think they should come up with one of those videos, you know, where you can really smell stuff and be really nice. Smell it. Really good. So we're going to be putting in some turmeric. I like to put a lot of turmeric because of its anti-inflammatory properties. Some cayenne pepper for circulation. Some garam masala. Just for the flavors of the north of India to come through. So beautiful. They look like these really thin um, french fries, you know, really nice. The way you cut a vegetable really matters. So at this point, I'm going to be adding some cashews, about five or six cashews, and cilantro leaves. You would have noticed that I haven't added my salt as yet. I just want it to cook right through. That's very important. Putting in some cumin powder, some tridoshik churna, some salt to taste, and then we'll be adding some mint leaves. See, this is the type of dry side that goes very well with any type of Indian food. You can make a, like an Indian pilaf or a pulao. It'll go very well with that. It'll taste very nice with roti or Indian bread. It goes very well with our payashavam or the yogurt curd rice that we put together, which is vegan. And now I'm going to be adding the dried fenugreek leaf. The moisture will now be in the perfect consistency in the potatoes to accept the methi. So it's really, really fulfilling for that flavor to come through. Oh my God, it smells divine. And there's nobody in this world who doesn't really like potatoes. There's something about it which is so comforting. I do realize about, you know, oh my God, it's got the carbohydrates going on, but a little bit of indulgence very rarely, <laughs> it's still worth it. It's just a um, delightful flavor that just takes over. Wonderful. We're gonna be plating up as soon as this is cooked just for a tad bit longer. See you soon. Welcome back and it's time to plate. So 
or alu methi. Absolutely delightful. And I like it as a fantastic side. It also kind of takes in the flavor so beautifully. And I'd like to put in a little bit of lemon juice on top when I'm done. Never ever cook with lemon juice. Okay, so if you put the lemon juice into the saucepan, it's really going to be bitter. You know, so it's very important to do it after you take it out. Perfect. Fantastic side, just like it has to be, has a little bit of heat, so you can always like um, reduce the cayenne pepper, but it does have a little bit of heat. Very, very delicious. Until we meet again, this is Vaidhi Priyanka.